Bharat Electronics Limited has started fabrication of low band jammer pod for Tejas light combat aircraft that has been designed by DRDO's Defense Avionics Research Establishment. In order to meet the space and weight constraint, the pod will be light compact and power efficient, and it will be capable of engaging threats transmitting across 1 GHz to 6 GHz wave band. Hindustan Aeronautics and DRDO had recently started work on a new configuration of Tejas Mark 1A, which will be a dedicated electronic warfare variant, and a tender was released to build a mock-up model of this configuration to a private sector firm for wind tunnel testing. The managing director of French firm Naval Group has said that Naval Group has always been ready to offer the best in class and adapted solution to Indian Navy under Project 75I. However, the present request for proposal requires demonstration of a sea proven fuel cell based air independent system, but the French Navy doesn't use such propulsion system. South Korea's Dew Wu shipbuilding is now the sole contender in the P 75I which has offered the KSS-3 design with fuel cell AIP system and lithium-ion battery technology to the Indian Navy, but this export variant offered to India will not have the vertical launch system that are available on the Korean Navy's KSS-3 submarine. A Kilo-class submarine of the Indian Navy will soon be converted into a test bed for Project 76 by Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders in which the Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design also known as Submarine Design Group, will be in charge of the design and development of 12 indigenous conventional submarines. The RDO's Naval Materials Research Laboratory has recently started fabrication of a full-scale AIP system, and the Kilo-class submarine testbed will be integrated with all the indigenous submarine technology including the DRDO developed AIP system, and will feature lithium-ion battery, improved sonar system and new propulsion system. Agni-5 nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile has reached a two-digit production scale in the last few years, and has been deployed and activated by the Strategic Forces Command at Northeast Frontier and other border areas. The Agni-6 will not be coming anytime soon, and the DRDO plans to develop and integrate latest technology like MRF capability in future batch upgrades of the Agni-5 coming in the next few years. The K5SLBM will be tested this year, and while the DRDO had already got principal approvals for the development of the 8000 km range K6SLBM, but it might take at least four more years to start developmental trials. Aeronautical Development Establishment is constructing four Archer armed UAVs, which will be used for testing of weapons systems, after which it be handed over to the Indian Army for user trials. The Archer has a range of 220 km, and each UAV will carry four air-to-surface anti-tank missiles, and the DRDO also plans to equip it with two air-to-air -air missiles. The Indian Army is taking a fresh look at the DRDO proposed short-range armed UAV called Archer, and at least 100 units will be ordered if it meets the requirements. The Rustam 2 is also being prepped to be integrated with anti-tank missiles. The Indian Army Special Forces Unit and the Indian Air Force conducted a joint exercise on special operations with Chinook helicopters. The exercise validated the carriage of light strike vehicle of special forces in underslung and in cabin mode, thereby enhancing the synergy and jointmanship between the two armed services.